So apparently Anissian is being sued. If you don't remember Anissian, he's an old YouTuber that has had a lot of allegations. Chris Hansen was looking into him at one point. Uh, there was news about his, I believe his daughter fell from a second story window and broke her arms and legs. Some, it's, some, it's a big, there's a, there's a big uh, rabbit hole when it comes to Anissian. And, um, but apparently he's getting sued and we're going to watch old Charlie here with the creepiest YouTuber ever is finally being sued and see what the news is. So let's just jump right into it. Throughout the history of YouTube, there's of course been no shortage of creeps on the platform. However, there's always existed one champion atop this mountain of weirdos, one Alpha Goober, who is more laughably <laughs> pathetic, the Alpha Goober, the Alpha Goober, unhinged than all of the rest. His name that needs is? to send shivers down the spines of all parents. God, what a what a build up, man! <laughs> and this year, just. Oh my god. His name has long since been forgotten, like an ancient threat. He's like the Sauron <laughs> of YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> this explanation is so so good. <laughs> the, the long long ago, the name that we've forgotten, we dare not speak it. The Thanos of online accused predators. His name is Onision. There we go. Oh, like I said, Onision. Oh, Onion Boy. Oh man. Yeah, there, there are allegations like him like grooming fans, and all, there's all, all kinds of allegations and stuff. Like I'm, I'm saying, allegations because. I don't want to get sued, so <laughs> I don't no know. Doubt. Yeah, I don't know what's been proven and what hasn't been, honestly, because I've just kind of avoided the whole thing. But like, again, like Charlie said, he's kind of the YouTube boogeyman. So when I when I saw the video come up of being sued, I was like, "Well, I gotta, I gotta watch this. I gotta see what's going on." Because like I said, <laughs> he, he tried. Wait, what happened? Was it that he tried to sue Chris Hansen, but sued the wrong Chris Hansen, and so some other dude named Chris Hansen shows up to court like. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like what's going on i never i don't know whatever happened wow. in the investigation i know i think chris himself had gotten in some trouble uh with the law d during that time but i guess they they dropped the whole thing there's like an fbi investigation going on Jeez. yeah he is now facing his biggest lawsuit yet for his Ooh. alleged grooming and solicitation oh. of pictures of underage girls as well as a lot of other really awful things it's all coming it's all coming together here Controversial former YouTube star Anissian is being sued for alleged grooming. Accused his popular YouTube page to solicit underage followers. God. I'm surprised it's taken this long for like, I mean, I think he's been sued before, but I don't know if this is How like. How long has it been off the platform? Uh, well, I don't even know if he's, jeez, I should. Yeah, like I said, like I said, I don't, I'm not, <coughs> I stopped keeping up with it. I don't mm. think he's on YouTube anymore. No, he started a kid's channel at one point. What? I really should do my research when you're making this video so I can tell you guys all about it, but I, I, I figured Charlie's going to tell us all about it anyway. Talking about Onision in 2023 is like talking about a 1970s obscure action movie villain that no one remembers. It's just been so long since anyone's actually talked about him. <laughs> it's, it's true. Like, no one ever talks about Onision anymore unless they're, like, making fun of him. Does he still have a channel on here? He does. Okay. He does. Yeah, it's like this <laughs> cool anime ah. character. Yeah. What's he got? Is he got anything recently? <laughs> two days ago thank you for giving my life meaning okay all right well maybe that's worth <clears> looking <throat> into too and see what that's about but yeah before that i don't know how much stuff's been deleted but like try to bring the banana song back a couple of th one two three four you know probably more times five yeah it, that's just in the, okay you gotta ride that one hit huh i think he wrote a book as wow. well there's actually a, there's actually a comment about it and this is the kind of guy who would write three books full of cringe and self inserts, making himself a total badass and being completely oblivious to the fact that he'd be making a fool of himself. Oh, wait, he actually did that. Oh, uh, <laughs> the official website. You can get some art. You can get blocked by him if you pay him $5. And he'll follow you on social media and he'll text you for $50. For 90 bucks, we can get an interview. Yeah, and you can also license his video. If you want to watch one of his videos, you can pay him 100 bucks. So I guess if we're going to wow. react to like his give my life meaning video, then we're going to have to get it licensed. Anyway, tell us more about it. He is still active on Twitter and posts just unbearable, unreadable garbage. Things like, what if I hugged you and then buried my tongue deep inside your ass and then I fished around in there for dingleberries? Hmm? Would you like that, my <laughs> naughty princess? Would you get squat for me? What? <laughs> oh! Hang on. <laughs> Is that a real tweet? Is this on Twitter? Is does that really say OnlyFans model? Oh yeah, yeah. He's got he's OnlyFans, <laughs> not safe for work. OnlyFans. He's got music. Oh, he's the whole package, man. Jeez. 
He looks. He definitely looks like a villain. I don't. I don't know why. <laughs> he looks like. A, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. All right. All right. Sorry. I was. I need to get my news from Charlie. Uh, I'll go ahead and give you like a brief history of him, since I'm sure most of you don't even remember the shit stain yeah, that he left. Yeah. There we go. So that's what I need. I need the brief refresher of like what, what's even happened. But really, what blew yeah, up this banana. channel was this video, the banana song. I'm a banana, and it's during that era of YouTube where everything was just like XD random and making silly songs like spoon. Spork, <laughs> I got a spoon, a True. spork, sporky spoon, like that kind of. Oh, if somebody to remix that, that would be a banger right there. I got a spoon, a spork, spoon, spork, sporky, sporky, sporky spoon, sporky spork, I got a spoon. But he's, not, he's not wrong. The old, old YouTube guy was so like. Sporky, sporky, sporky. Yeah. It just the most random junk. Get your nan cat. Was it, what was it, the old girl's name? Poppy or something like that. Like the emo looking girl that was just like, oh my God, ba -da -ba -da -da, and everyone's like, on the internet loved it for some reason. From there grew three channels with over a million subs each. One of them over two million, which for its time was unheard of. He was one of the biggest channels YouTube had mm -hmm. for years. Yep. Yeah, he was like one of the one of the big wow. dudes back in the day. I mean, that was like back in the day when like when I think when PewDiePie passed Smosh for the biggest channel on YouTube was like around 10 million subs or something like that. Like back my, in the day. Yeah, like my channel back in the day was mass like in comparison to the whole thing like i think i had a million when like ray william johnson or someone had like four million i think so like the, the gap was much smaller back then of like how big you could be now like you know you got dudes with like a uh, hundred million right and you boys were still right, back right. here <laughs> you know we're, we're closing <laughs> on five we're gonna get there my, my career goal is to get to 10 million subs and uh you know at the rate that it's going i'm gonna be making videos when i'm 70 and we'll eventually get there though <laughs> Just keep hoping. we're gonna get there baby <laughs> yeah but anyways youtube was a much different place is the kind of the point of what we're talking about he had a website where his audience of mostly young teenage girls would send mm -hmm. pictures of themselves that he would grade what oh yeah Oh, I forgot God. all about that until he mentioned it. I completely forgot about that. He was trying to open up Snapchat oh. before Snapchat existed. You know, he was like, yo, send me uh, <laughs> some pictures, you know? Wow. Yeah. I'll grade you. Yeah. Did, he, uh, did he grade them in videos? I don't think so. Okay, still. If he Jesus. did, they were deleted. Yeah, but yeah, it's like there, there's been quite a few YouTubers that have come through that have like gotten for their time massive success. And then just completely like seemingly like lose their minds and just right. go off the rails and just do like this crazy stuff. It's it's pretty rare, but it, it's happened. <sighs> Actually, it's not that rare. <laughs> now I'm thinking about it. Anyway, it happens, and, and the Disney was definitely like one of those people that uh, really just got lost in the sauce. This is a bad guy, and the controversies only continued to grow over the years. Mm -hmm. He got to a point where Chris Hansen investigated him. I think. Yeah. Yeah, let's talk to you. Just let Charlie tell you. I, just, I should just like link his video and see if you've been, been watching it. <laughs> Chris Hansen came <laughs> after him. Yeah, the FBI was investigating him. I think I remember us. We did make a video, I think, about it. I think we did. It's been a long time. But yeah. I believe was, we did. Yeah, like Chris Hansen was outside of his door. And I don't remember if it was like a parody no, or what. Oh, yeah, that's like, what it was. Like he was like outside the door trying to interview him. He had like the cops there. Like, he called yeah. the cops on Chris Hansen, and Chris Hansen was like, I'm just here trying to get it. And they were like, yo, what's up? I love your show. You know, wow. We, should, we got a right. lot of bad guys off the street. Yeah. And then he got to, tried to sue him. And that's when he sued the, some other guy that was named Chris Hansen. He started an OnlyFans page, which focused on spork porn of him. Mm. It, it, it's not even really worth going down that road. <laughs> like, like if Charlie looks disgusting thinking about it, I don't even want to look. I don't even want to Google it and try to like <laughs> see if someone leaked anything. Uh, I, don't, I don't even want to. I don't even want to look at it. He uh. had a, a, an appearance in court a couple years ago where everyone was mm -hmm. laughing at him because he showed up in a bulletproof vest. Oh yeah, he had the bulletproof vest on. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, I can't believe I forgot about all this stuff. What? I've I've removed it all from my brain. Yeah, we, I think we even talked about this. He showed up, he had a bulletproof, like people were like, he looks kind of like, he's got something under there, but it, like from the back, you can see he has a bulletproof vest on because someone may try to assassinate him. He was actually wow. suing Chris Hansen, but ended up suing the wrong Chris Hansen. Yeah. And Onision yep. is so unbelievably fucking stupid. He's an absolute bumbling idiot that he decided to represent himself in court. He represented himself in court oh, too. Oh yeah. no. <laughs> it's like, it, whenever you like hear about all this stuff, it's like this, dude, like this dude can't be real. Like he can't be a real guy, but he is. Yeah. <laughs> he wow. Is. Like how? 
How did he get so many subscribers? What, uh, he what is had a, this? He had a banana costume and did a song and, you know. God. <laughs> and he is facing by far his biggest lawsuit yet. They put out a, a statement a few days ago breaking down everything. The entire 48-page lawsuit is available. 48 page lawsuit. 48? Oh, oh my god. Wait. There's another person involved? Who's Kai? Uh, I think it's his partner. Um, oh, dude. Yeah. Oh, dude. I forgot about this whole thing, too. Oh, my God. Mary's probably watched this video and it's like just rolling. Like, he's like, how did you? Mary tells me about all this stuff. She keeps up with it. Yeah. Ah. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Kai is such a is, hang on. I gotta go ask. I gotta get. I gotta get the new. I gotta get a refresher from me real quick so I can explain it correctly. All right, all right. Get the TLDR. Porkies, porkies, porkies. So I went. I went. I went and visited the lore professional. And okay. um, all right. So there's been multiple actually, and they're they're fans, and they move into the house with them. <clears throat> the younger fans they move into the house with them, uh, and then like the whole grooming thing. And then they end up doing like all the housework and all the domestic stuff around the house is what the, uh, oh, the what the story is and what like they, they've come out and said. Dude, and that's of, like a cult, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's the Anissian cult. Yeah, exactly. And one of them, he married one of them, I believe. Oh, my God. Oh. We've been going through this video. And it's kind of like, ha, 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 ha. But then when you actually like what has happened and you like think about it, you're just like, whoa. <laughs> That's why Chris yeah. Hansen was investigating him. Oh, Chris, tase him! Five counts alleged in the filing. This is just Five an article counts. breaking down the situation. Oh, my God. Violation of the trafficking victims. Oh, my God. Trafficking? Oh. Sex trafficking. Oh, my God. Personal injuries related to possession. Industry of child. Oh, my God. Jeez. Seeking Dude, damages. this guy is like the worst of the worst. I am, however, excited to see Onision's newest breakdown video that he'll likely make for this. He's notorious for filming him. Let's <laughs> see, he's got the breakdown videos. Well, he did upload one two days ago. <laughs> so now that everyone's talking about it, he's made a video. Again, like these are on different channels because he always deletes them, but he goes and has like a big meltdown about whatever the stuff involving them is and he just like rambles and doesn't make any sense. This one I think is far more serious for him since this carries huge, huge sentencing should he be found guilty on all of these things. If he gets found guilty on all these things, he's not going to make it out of jail. Ooh, like he's no, going to be one of the guys that you, that you read about in the obituary after he goes to jail, you know? Yeah, this one's got to get coverage kind of like the Johnny Depp, whatever, Amber Heard <laughs> I, Well, at least thing, for me, you know? I'm going to keep up with it because I want to I I see the hammer come down. I swear to God, yeah, I would, I, I would not even know about this if I didn't, if Charlie didn't make a video about it. I don't know how he finds all this news, man. I don't know how he does it. He's my news channel now. Right. Yeah, like this guy. I completely forgot and this existed. Yep. My girlfriend once told me she was groomed by Nissian when she was around 13. One day she had a gross spurt and looked older than she actually was in pictures. So he lost interest and blocked her. What? Is that is that true? Holy crap! Anyway, yeah, it's it's yeah. Okay, there, it's, this, everything's disgusting about it. Like I don't even want to. This is why I forgot everything to begin with because it's like I just slide that sludge right out my brain and throw it in the trash can. Never thought think about it again. And I live happily ever after. But man, he's back and he's about. To, oh boy, he could potentially be paying for all of that now. Yeah. Well, Ooh. we'll keep up with it. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as you could let me know what you think in the comments today's your birthday happy birthday stay to my friends see you next time i love you bye bye